Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're playing the Total War Warhammer 2 Battle Replay. This one was sent in by Wizard Lizard, and uh, it's a good one. So, here you see he's playing his High Elves, and uh, he sent me quite a lot of replays recently, and this is the one I picked. It's the one replay where he's not playing as uh, as Lizardman. I mean, he's called Wizard Lizard, so you expect him to be Lizardman, right? But no, he's High Elves. He's High Elves today. So, Spearman, Spearman, Spearman. Swordmasters, 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 Archers, Archers, Archers. So really, really solid infantry core here. Really good. Um, I really like this. Against Skaven, so Storm Vermin are going to be no problem. But Swordmasters do really suffer against guns and Doom Flayers. They've got to be careful. But on this map, he does have the, you know, he does have the terrain here to help him out a lot. Spearmen with their Silver Shields beautiful and all that archer fire is really good if you can get on top of those guns you know any archer fire will just kill him really quickly just all the guns are pretty atrocious at staying alive to be honest also here a great eagle great for jumping on top of you know skrulk or doom wheels or anything like that really really nice to have really good weapon strength and that charge bonus helps out to no end also here a moon dragon you never see a moon dragon i think that's a nice thing to see it's always either an eagle or a star dragon you never see anything in between so having a moon dragon is lovely especially against gaven because you do want some fairly good sort of uh, heavy punching um, sort of units, you know, something like a Moon Dragon, still huge weapon strength and armor piercing, so great for dealing with Doom Whales and Doom Flayers and Lords, but yeah, also pretty good breath attack. It's got some good spread on it, really good for those big, uh, big clumps of Skaven, really nice to see. Also, uh, over here, you can see he's got a couple of Silver Helms, and uh, way over here, way over here, he's got some Illyrian Reavers, and that is very nice to be able to get the jump on any artillery, but the Skaven player, he's not going with the whole gun thing. No, no, he's he's clearly, clearly cottoned on to the fact that people are used to that. No, he has a Plague Priest. He has Queek, a ton of fodder infantry. Just a ludicrous amount of clan rats and Skaven slaves. But he has two Doom Wheels and he has two Hellpit Abominations, which is terrifying. And of course, more rat summons. So overwhelming numbers with a few select units that just have ludicrous DPS. So huge damage potential. Followed by just an ungodly amount of swarms that can just bog everything down. So both really cool armies here. I think these are really interesting. Both slightly unique for this matchup. I don't often see either of these things brought against one another. So I really like this. I really like this a lot. Very unique stuff. So, you can see, moving through the trees. Because, yep, trees, you're going to go through the trees if you can. Because it's Gaven and you expect a ton of guns. But this will actually put the archers at a slight disadvantage. And that's kind of the beauty of the Skaven build. It's kind of doing away with that. And the thing is, the Doom Wheels, they're still great for things like Swordmasters, so that's still scary. But over here you can see the Silver Helms are trying to get on top of this Doom Wheel, get some initial damage in there. But of course the Hellpit Abomination is going to scare them away pretty quickly. So, away they go, but the Doom Wheel is chasing, and that will actually give the chance for them to double back and attack the Doom Wheel some more. You can see the Eagle is coming in for an attack, but it uh, looks like this uh, unit Silver Helms got a little bit confused and decided to stand idle, letting the Hellpit start gaining some traction on them, which is a bit scary. That is a bit scary, you know, even the Great Eagle. You really don't want that Great Eagle sat nearby. But again, the help it just carried on chasing. If that doubled back, that Great Eagle could be in a lot of trouble. Because these two units both have a lot of mass. It'd be quite difficult for the Great Eagle to, you know, get out of there, basically. So a load of the infantry starting to push up as well, chase these guys away. But I mean, this is where the army is, guys. This is where the army is. So, Lyrian Reavers probing around the back, making sure there's nothing sneaky going on. But no, no, all the expense in the help pits and Doom Wheels. It's pretty ridiculous. So, Princess coming in, doing mad damage to that Doom Wheel on the charge there. Absolutely beautiful, and none of this stuff is going to bog her down. And, a few little shots as well. You know, she does a pretty good missile damage as well, which is pretty nice. So, as she's flying about, shooting stuff, it is good. But, one disadvantage. Oof, God, it's got by Lightning Bolt there. Lovely. Um, but yeah, the Princess. The thing is, with a lot of units like this, that are very good in melee, but also have ranged, is ranged fire tires people out very quickly. So her sat shooting things is going to tie her out, and that means she will be less effective when she does get into melee. So there is a cost to be able to shoot at things like that. There is a cost to it. So, <laughs> yeah, just, just going to keep running. They don't want to fight or help it. And all that, look at all this. This is ridiculous. There's rats everywhere. So you can see he is making himself known. He is starting to push up, and that is worth doing. And yep, starting to shoot at Queek now. Starting to shoot at Queek, getting a little bit of damage in. And there's a volley of arrows. Not bad, not bad. It's helping, helping whittle him down. But I think the volley of arrows might have actually been better on something like the uh, Plague Priest or even the Hell Pit, just because all of those shots are going to hit if you're shooting at a big unit like that. Queek, one hits him, he gets sent flying, and the other two miss. You know, the whole volley doesn't register, and that means you're missing out on a bit of that damage. So, over here, 
yep, Doom Wheel's still chasing things, but he's pretty secluded, and these are just Gaven slaves. So honestly, these Silver Helms charge these guys, they're gonna die before they can really do any damage. So you could actually catch out that Doom Wheel now. Don't have to keep chasing. You single out that Doom Wheel and take him out before he gets into all the infantry, and you really don't want the Doom Wheel anywhere near this infantry. But over here, the other Doom Wheel is getting chased about, and that is very good news for the High Elves. But yeah, can't quite catch him. Oh, there, yeah, that, that hurt, that hurt. Really good to catch out the Doom Wheels early. Really good to be able to do that. Help it is peeling off to try and help. But honestly, these two units against a Help it, I think the Help it could struggle a bit against a Moon Dragon and a Great Eagle. You know, don't think that'd be great for him. But they're going to pull out anyway. Need to help out over here. That Help it's got a long way to walk. So over here, Doom Wheel still just waiting. Help it. Looks like he's going to lead the charge. And of course, the archers are going to get great value against a Hell Pit Abomination. Only 50 armor? It's not much. It's not going to shrug off much of the damage from these guys. And it's very difficult for these guys to miss a Hell Pit Abomination. He's quite a big target. You know, he'll end up, in a, he'll end up being a pit cushion. That's the plan here. That's the plan. So, some shots being fired. And okay, just after I say it's hard to miss him, he lunges forward and all of the arrows miss him. Of course, of course. They would have hit if I hadn't said anything. So over here, Great Eagle chasing off that Doom Wheel. Really nice early get. But these Illyrian Reavers, they did charge in, try and slow this stuff down, but they're getting dealt with. You know, they're running away now. They're running away, and that's not ideal. But here, Princess is charging in. Archer Fire landing on the Hell Pit Abomination, and the Spearmen are holding a lot of units at bay. Like a ludicrous amount of units. And here, some charging from the Silver Helms. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and hide the foliage, because um, we're fighting in trees. Come on. So, here, Silver Helms trying to get some charges in. You can see the Skaven Slave Spears. And Skaven Slaves, they're not going to be able to hold out very well, but it doesn't mean you want to stay in prolonged combat. You still want to push out. So there we go. He's starting to move back, and that is nice. And now, all the units start to push forward, and there is a Mortis Engine effect on that Plague Priest, so you want to get rid of him quickly before we can start killing a lot of your infantry. You see the Spearmen are really suffering from this big surge, and now, Swordmasters are in here fighting, and the Swordmasters aren't going to do particularly well against the Hell Pit or the Plague Priest. They are anti-armor, anti-infantry, and these aren't armoured infantry. Yeah, I really didn't have to tell you that, but this helper is struggling from all the archers. Units are being summoned in the back, the Silver Helms have managed to push in, and here you can see the Spearmen are actually just pushing through the forest and in, trying to get on top of these units. The Plague Monks now doubling back, trying to get rid of these archers, but the Dragon is dealing with this other Doom Wheel. It's very bad for him. But Blessing of Filth has been used, and that means that this summoned unit is suddenly going to be affecting the vigour and stats of everything nearby, and that's actually a pretty nice nice sort of one-two punch there just to help weaken the enemy lines before the rest of your infantry will start charging in. So over here, help it, still doing some work, but only six kills, not a huge amount of kills yet. It's been a bit tough for him. This one still, still keeping the pressure up and all the infantry is starting to push in. And to protect the archers, he's got to keep a lot of his pretty valuable units here. And that just means he can't protect other units. You can see these plague monks continually chasing these archers and they can keep pace with them. Here, though, the spearmen do look, they're trying to bog them down, but the plague monks aren't interested. They're going to keep chasing those archers, and that is very bad news. You need these archers to be able to whittle down the hell pit, so you can just finish them off on the charge from things like the Great Eagle and the Princess. But the Great Eagle did jump down here, but one on one, there's no hope for a Great Eagle. There is no hope. So he's going to get out of there. And now the Princess is kind of on his own. And that is not good. That is not good. But massive damage on the plague priest. Plague Priests really aren't good at fighting things like dragons. They are not good for that. The armor will keep them going for a long time. And, uh, you know, they got armor piercing anti infantry. They got their spells. But you really want them in the front line with other units. Fighting solo against a big armor piercing monster is just going to get wrecked. Only 26 melee defense. It's not a lot. And here, Volley of Arrows. Look at that. Doing a ton of work. Really nicely played. So. Still, these Plague Monks are just not quitting. They are not quitting. Some units are starting to crumble that have been summoned, but there's still just so many. These archers, now online again, trying to finish off this Hell Pit, while the Eagle and the Princess can finish off the Plague Priest. There's no fear of the Eagle coming down to attack the Plague Priest, now that the Hell Pit is some distance away. In the trees, though, this Hell Pit has been chasing these units for ages, trying to do what it can, and it's taken some damage, but it's done quite a bit of damage to these Swordmasters. But honestly, the Swordmaster's fighting nothing but the Hell Pit. The Hell Pit isn't really getting value quick enough. It's not getting value fast enough to really make its presence worthwhile. It needs to be over here, defending other units. And now, yep, dead, dead Hell Pit Abomination, and the Plague Priest is getting chased off. He's getting chased down by the Eagle, that is quite a cheap tool for this. Grey Eagles are not that pricey. They are not that expensive. But here, there is still a Hell Pit Abomination. Now getting shot at by the very high missile damage of the Princess. 
which is very, very nice. And a lot of these units are pretty cheap. And if we have a look over here, you know, there's still some spearmen fighting over here, and there's still a few swordmasters dotted around. Uh, there's a lot more up here that have been chasing that are totally healthy. All this infantry, it doesn't really stand a chance. More swordmasters over here are fighting. They're just getting hundreds of kills. They have managed to fight off hundreds of clan rats with no problems. Because the clan rats just don't have the armor piercing to really compete with them, and they can obviously kill infantry so fast. So it's not looking good for the Skaven front line. More units. No, they can't, can they? I was about to say, more units can be summoned. No, that Plague Priest is gone. And that is a very useful tool to have been dealt with. And that's the thing with this kind of army. You know, it's got a lot of strength, but it's really got to make sure it sticks together. It can bog down as much stuff as possible. Those big units do need to keep cohesive, or else they're just going to get caught out one at a time by, you know, just the aerial goon squad. They can just find a target and deal with it. The archers with that withering fire, you can whittle something down and then just finish it off with the eagle and the dragon. And it's it's surgical. It is surgical is what this is. And here, swordmasters seem to be running off, but honestly, they can kick the snot out of Quig. They can keep just kick the snot out of him. He's only got 40 to melee defense, and that armor doesn't matter with armor piercing damage and anti infantry like the swordmasters have got. They can get in there and do some serious work. I mean, 48 melee attack against 42 melee defense, and they have the anti infantry. They can just absolutely waste Quig. I mean, it doesn't matter that Queek is anti-infantry and armor-piercing too. I mean, that's great against Swordmaster, but he just one rat, and he'll be surrounded by Swordmasters. So, he'll just get cut down very quickly. So here, Archer's still getting, uh, still getting targeted. But now, the Dragon and the Eagle are coming in again. So it'll be a couple of big hits on this health pit, and immediately, immediately dies, and releases a swarm of scaven side spears that break immediately. Queek, having been left to the end, he can't compete with what remains. So he shatters immediately. Fair enough, you know, it's not really his style, fighting uh, an entire army of Swordmasters on his own. But, uh, I mean, this this army is pretty unique, but, I mean, who would have thought a bunch of Swordmasters, right? Who would have thought that? Usually, the High Elves would use, I don't know, just not Swordmasters. Not not with the amount of guns and Doom Flayers and things. He did have some insurance against that, but he let them get singled out. And that was a real problem. If the Doom Wheels were escorting the Hellpit Abominations at all times, and vice versa... Nothing could really come in and try and goon out the Doom Wheel without the Hell Pit getting in some massive damage. And it just makes it very difficult to deal with both both uh, units. This is a just a terrifying combination. And with so much fodder, it makes it very difficult for other units to really just pin them down, you know? Uh, cavalry can't really come in and pin them down because they'll just get flooded by infantry and all of these cheap units and summons coming in as well. It's a real nightmare, but uh, this just proved the perfect counter to it. Just a great goon squad. The Swordmasters could kill infantry all day. I mean, 300, 176, and 190 killed. It's huge. Huge amount of kills. Archers, barely, barely any kills at all, but they basically took out a hell pit and a half, so you can't really blame them. Um, you know, Silverhelms ran some great disturbance, and they got some kills too, but it was it was all about the Princess on the Moon Dragon and the Great Eagle. It's, just, it's a great combo. It is an absolute great combo. Howling Warp Gale would have made the world of difference here, I think. Would have made the world of difference. But there was nothing really to follow it up. It's uh, really bold not to bring any guns at all. But honestly, most of the time, Howling's going to be bringing so much stuff to deal with the guns that they might forget that this is a possibility. So I think it was really good, really off meta picks, and I always appreciate that. Um, so, guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.